Well, apart from the uh, clouds just coming over now and all the sun going, today has been a good day because I've finally got my new solar system up and running. So when I got this block uh, property, I had these panels here. Um, and there was an old, an old solar system that I'll show you. I'm glad it's been so hot. We've got a change come through now. It's beautiful. Uh, so I've been running off this solar system here. So this has just got a charge controller here, an inverter here, all the isolations, and a power meter. So this has just been plugging in with a um, lead, which I now have to actually disconnect from the caravan because that'll be live. We don't want that. So I'm going to do this safely. Pull it out. Of course you pull it out like that. So that's been running off this little battery here. That's now decommissioned and I used to run the generator every morning to make coffee and then I just stopped making coffee after that. So this is the new system. This is a SunGrow um, 8G, no, sorry, SG8K-D. So it's 8,000 uh, watt. It's got, um, it's actually got, this is just one tier. So I'm running 15 panels now in, the, in series into this. But as you can see under here, maybe there's another two tiers. So I could run another, Actually, I can run, depending on the wattage of the panel, but uh, or the voltage of the panel. Sorry, it's you can run 600 volts on each of these. So, um, at the moment, the panels. Oh, this it's gone overcast now, so we're only producing 467 watts. We'll have a look at that on the inside. Um, so I can run three lots of 20 panels. Uh, it's very expandable. Um, this will. The reason I've gone for this system is that this will get moved over to my shed home. So this cable goes into inside and we'll go and have a look at that now. Yeah, it's a big, it's an expandable system and it's a overkill for my caravan obviously, but it's for the shed home later and it will be, um, yeah, it's very expandable so I can do whatever I want. So in here, We have Victron Quattro. It's a 48 volt, 8,000 volt amp, 110 amps. Um, now with this system as well, I could actually get another two of these and I could have three phase. So the cable coming from outside comes in here to a power meter. That power meter then through Bluetooth goes to this meter down here. This meter tells me what's happening. All right, so it's telling me at the moment that we've got 360 watts coming in. Um, that's because it's overcast and slightly raining at the moment. It will, the panels that I've got, it'll it'll produce about 3,000 watts. It was running 3,000 watts this morning. So that's going the inverter. And then out of that is 211 watts. That's all my loads are. It's just the fridge and the incubator and the periodically the computer. And then the battery down here is at 99%. Um, last night I had it running, it was only at 71% because it, I was, this was on and off all day so the battery wasn't charged. Um, in the morning it was 61% so it doesn't use much power overnight. Um, so the batteries are here. I'll just go to another setting on this thing and I should be able to see them. So if you see those lights, that's one, two, three, there's four batteries there which are four kilowatts each so 16 kilowatts um, now this system that battery bank of 16 kilowatts you can put 16 of those battery banks so you had 256 kilowatts you can power a small town I swear um, so this is part this one here is part of the battery system um, this cable gets connect is a Ethernet cable connected to the to the battery this one is an Ethernet cable a special Ethernet cable we'll talk about that quickly um, that connects to this meter and yeah that's how it works all the outgoing loads are up here I haven't done lighting yet um, now I've had issues with this I 
got a quote for this system, for them to design this system for me. Then I looked at it, it was $30,000. I looked at it and I went, okay, I'm just gonna buy everything that I needed to do that system, right? And I actually bought most of it from um, the blokes that designed it for me. And they were happy to sell me the stuff, but then when it come to it not working, I'd wired it up. Um, they said basically they didn't want to help me because it's their proprietary information that took them 10 years to develop this thing, blah, blah, and I got very angry. And I sent them a nasty letter and just said, look, mate, I'm retired. I don't want to sell your system. I'm not trying to get your information to sell a system. I'm just want to, I'm living off grid. I'm retired. I just want power. So everything was good. It was, um, once we got off the emails, it was fine once we talked to each other. Um, so then what happened was, is that the, basically what you do is you connect your computer up to this cable here and that's run a program to put all the settings and things in it, all the parameters. Now, I got a bloke to help me do that. They, they finally said, look, we'll give you this guy for three hours. Um, what happened was I had my Mac and the program on my Mac. When we got to a certain point and he said, press this tab, I said, I haven't got that tab. And he said, what program are you running? Looked at it, he said, no, no, you got to get a PC and get the program on PC. It's got more, uh, more things on it. I didn't have a PC, so I had to buy a PC, cheap PC, then they were shut over Christmas and we waited to New Year and we did it again and it didn't work again. Then he said to me that um, basically that to check all these, redo all these uh, data cables because the only issue they ever have problems with is communication between the different things in the system. I re-terminated all those cables because I had Cat5 cable and terminate, terminate, terminals for it. Um, didn't work. Then I read Victron said they recommend using their cables and I was like, Cat5 is Cat5, like RJ45, they're all the same. Well, they're not. This one is a special cable. So it means that the terminations are different than what they normally are. This one has to go in this end and then the other end of it has to go into that end, okay? Um, once I did that, this screen started working properly. Uh, at first it just didn't wasn't showing everything once I did that it was showing everything But I still didn't have any AC out. I had no loads. So the system was doing nothing. I was powering nothing up now uh, Okay, so that lead was good. I just went on the computer and From what I'd learnt and then looking I knew what I I knew what the problem was I just had to fix it. So I had to come up with a way to program in there for it to work and I did that and it's working. Awesome. So now it's my proprietary information. Maybe I'll start selling the systems. No, that sounds like work. Uh, I don't like work. Anyway, um, that's it. Now I'm going to show you quickly. Also while we're in here is uh, down here. This is my toilet. Okay, so what you do, you don't want to, you want to do this first. Open that, which opens the hole. And when you're finished, you've got a little thing you go here. And you fill it, you empty it every four days or so. Try and do your peas outside because it fills up really quick with pee. Um, now what I have over here is a towel. Remove the towel. So we have a shower in the corner here. Just drains out onto the dirt because it just does. I couldn't get in there to put a pipe on it and the pipe would have just gone on the dirt anyway. So what you have is you have these uh, jerry cans here of water, sucks for a pump, comes up to this thing which is a gas hot water system and we have a gas bottle down there. So yeah, so that, that does my hot water. Um, now what you do learn is you really learn how much water you use when you have a shower because that 20 litre drum, first one I had, I was dying for a shower. I hadn't had a shower for so long, it was not funny. But um, I got all wet, soaked up, and the water ran out before I got to wash it all off. So it wasn't really good, and I only had one container. Um, I used to have save water showers when I was at home, 
living in the city, I'd always turn the shower on, get all wet, turn the shower off, get me exfoliating gloves out and uh, give myself a shower and then turn the shower back on to hose all the, to wash all the soap off, right? So that's what I do now as well, just like I used to do. And uh, I can get two showers out of 20 litres now, so that's good. Um, all right, that's about it for today. Thank you very much. I'm Stayer Off Grid. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ah, up here somewhere, there's a video or a subscribe thing. Please uh, subscribe. Um, it's not much for you, but it means a lot to me. I've got to get to a try and try and get to a thousand subscribers, and I might be able to make some income off this, um, which would be nice. But I enjoy doing it in any case. All right, so thank you. I'm Stayer Off Grid. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.